Welcome back to another episode of WordPress Tutorials with PixumWeb. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over the admin dashboard. In order to get to the admin dashboard, you will, in the URL bar, navigate to your domain name, whatever that may be, followed by the forward slash and then wp-login.php. You will then be um, brought to this screen over here, which is the login screen for your website. You will put in your username and your password and then you would just click login. Once you log into uh, the dashboard you're going to be uh, brought to the back end of your website and there are three sections uh, to go over in the, um, in the back end. There is the admin toolbar which is right up here. This is the admin tool toolbar. Then you have the admin menu in the left side bar over here this is the complete admin um, menu and then you have the main um, admin area where most of your uh, back-end content will be viewed which is this center um, panel area over here in the center panel you have for the first time when you visit the back end you're going to be uh, presented with this welcome to WordPress message you can go over some of the information over here and once you're done with that, you can just click on Dismiss. Uh, one of the cool features of the main area of the backend admin section is the panels, which you can um, configure in any way you want by customizing, dragging and dropping, things of that nature. If you need additional uh, screen options to look at, you can click on the Screen Options link up here, and you will see a, uh, a couple of more um, options for you to click check on or check off and you can customize it further that way if you need help you can always click on the help link and there will be some other links you can visit to go over various aspects of the dashboard um, so that pretty much covers the main uh, area of the admin dashboard so on the left hand side back in the admin menu section you have a couple of uh, things to look at here. Um, whenever you go to the back end, you're going to first go be in the home section. When you want to check if you have updates or if there's a notification over here, you would just click on updates and it'll bring you to another uh, page of the admin um, dashboard. And here will, it'll let you know when the last time updates were checked for and if you need to update any plugins, themes, or the core of WordPress uh, itself. If you think that there's an update or if you want to double check um, but you're not getting because you're not getting the notification, you could always just check again. It'll send out another request and it'll let you know if there's any updates for you to um, put in uh, update for your platform. Um, the next section is your content section. Uh, this is uh, the, these are these links over here. There's the post, the media, the pages, and the comments section. Um, here you can add a new post. You can check out all your posts. You can look at your categories and tags, things of that nature. In your media, this is for your images, your pictures. Um, this can take you to your library or if you want to add a new image to your uh, website before uploading it to a post or page itself. Um, this is for your pages and you can look at all the pages you currently have or you can add a new page if you want to. Um, and these are for the comments that you have on your your website. Um, those that are approved, those that are pending, spam, trash, things of that nature. So the next section of the admin sidebar is your settings section, your various settings and um, tools that you could use. So the first one we'll look at is the appearance. Uh, this link over here, if you just hover over it, it'll show you this flyout menu with other options. Um, if you want to look at your currently installed themes or if you want to add a new theme, this is where you would do that from. If you want to customize your current theme, you can do that here in the customizer. And that's really dependent on the theme that you're currently using and the level of customization it allows you to implement. Um, if you want to 
manage your widgets you can do that in the widget area again every theme um, for the most part will have you know different types of widget sections of the site itself so you should take a look at those features your menus these are for your menu bar that you would have in the front end of your site maybe at the top maybe in the side or bottom um, you can create menus in this section and um, you can name them you can put links things of that nature and again if you need um, more screen options you can always click on that screen option section and if you need help you can click on the help section and for if you have a custom header again it's very theme specific on the dimensions uh, that you can use for a header image maybe it's a logo maybe it's just a full width banner you have on the top that's where you can um, put that in in the header link over here and if you want a background image you can do that again in the customizer if the theme um, allows you to do that.